got the dreaded squeaky camera bag. I'll have to sort this out. That's better because I can hold that strap now and stop it making quite so much noise. So today, I'm currently walking through the land of Nod and I'm heading towards a place called Flatwood where I've been before recently but only a little, just a little bit of it and today I'm going to walk the length of Flatwood it's really a bit of a sort of a scouting expedition this just to see what's there, what it's like I've brought some kit with me, just a couple of well, just the usual two Fuji bodies, the X-T20 and the X-Pro1. No other cameras. Brought a few lenses as always, but my aim really is to do pretty much everything on this trip with the two Mikey lenses to give them a try out. A bit more of a um, yeah, I'm having trouble getting a decent try out with them. So this is to give them both a, both the 25mm and the 35mm. Give them both a, a go out and see how they perform. A bit of a tree down thing going on here. Yeah. Yeah. A bit muddy through here as well. currently filming this on the action cam on the e-light so I might do some other stuff do one of the other cameras a bit later we'll see we'll see how we get on it's been quite wet lately in the last couple of days been a fair bit of rain so everywhere's a bit muddy through here but that's okay not too worried about that. Yeah, so try and give these Mikey lenses a bit more of a test out. And come to some sort of conclusion as to about, uh, you know, whether I like them or not, really. <laughs> and if I don't decide what to do next. I think the 35mm one I've been pretty impressed with. Performance seems really quite good. Exceeded my expectations. And the 25mm one I'm just not sure about yet. So let's see how it goes. So we're now in Flatwood. Just following the main path through I did mark a waypoint on the Garmin to get me to um, a sort of a crossroads where I'll do a right turn and head towards um, Applegarth and Ludshot and whatever um, we have 680 metres. This, it has, it was, it's been about a month, I think, since I was last over here. And it's not true, it wouldn't be true to say it's changed beyond all recognition, because it hasn't. But, yeah, this bracken growth is phenomenal. This was just, this was pretty bare last time I came up here and that was also very noticeable walking through the land of Nod just how much growth in a month but you know it's that time of year, spring so yeah there's a lot of stuff that's grown up in a month yeah, it looks like we've got uh, some dog walkers and stuff up ahead probably I'm not going to get attacked by dogs 
can't imagine it somehow. So, all the length of flat wood, and it did turn out to be, as described, very flat. And today, even the lighting was very flat. So that was flat, flat wood. Not terrifically inspiring. I mean, it was, it was okay, it was nice, it was peaceful, etc. I'm now out on Ludshot Common. I'll swing the camera around and you'll see that the lighting is still not, it's not superb, but it's, you know, it is what it is, it's okay. So I'm now heading along towards the main pass on Ludshot. And then home, and I think pretty much Everything I've taken while I've been out has been on the XT20 with the 25mm Mikey lens. So that was the aim today, was to get some shots in to see how much I like them with that particular lens. And I think I did shoot one scene with the X-Pro one and the 35mm Mikey, so we'll see which I prefer when we get them on the computer whether for the 35mm shots or the 25mm. Slightly different um, field of view of course, but nevertheless we'll see how they perform when we get them on the computer. As you'd expect for one of my photography walkouts it's now raining. However, I came prepared. I've got a rain jacket. Still managed to get a bit wet before I decided to put it on, but you know, what can you do? I'm usually, obviously, I take shelter under the trees at this point, but I want to get home for my tea. So I'm going to press on. Everywhere's looking very green, as you can see, and there's a good reason for that, obviously. It's raining quite a bit at the moment. Um, yeah, might still get some more shots on the way home. We'll see. Might get drenched on the way home. But, you know, I'm not far from home, so half a kilometre probably. How wet can you get in half a kilometre? Let's see. And the upshot of the testing over flat wood and some other bits and pieces of you know minor testing and photography that I did with the Mikey 25mm lens was um, that I decided I didn't want to keep it. It wasn't um, just wasn't the lens for me. wasn't impressed with um, wasn't really impressed with it at all. wasn't impressed with any aspects of it. wasn't impressed with its sharpness. wasn't impressed with its contrast. Just didn't think it was um, just not great. However, I did have um, you know a good experience with the Mikey twenty eight millimeter lens. Um, so I decided to sell the 25mm lens and buy the 28mm lens. It is a slower lens, I think it's an f2.8 lens, but you know I, I don't often use it wide open and you don't often use the lenses wide open anyway. And um, having previously been very pleased with the 28mm and I am still impressed with the 35mm lens, those are the two lenses that I'll, um, that I'll go with from Mikey.